Lender was like, no, it's not possible. Good luck finding a bank who will do it. Have you ever done it? And the reason I said yes was because my client went to TD Bank and TD Bank said, yeah, you can do it. And then I had another client who went to Chase Bank recently and Chase Bank said to Chase Bank is the one who recommended that he find out, uh, you know, what relationships the carrier had. Um, and so, uh, l like you said, I'm assuming the bigger banks are more comfortable doing this. Maybe the, the mortgage guy was probably, you know, a small lender, so he's not comfortable with that. Um, and from what you're saying, the big banks are more apt to do these types of things. Yeah, and I'm kind of surprised, though, on Chase, because, you know, that's a, a definitely a national bank, by, you know, banking institution, but... I mean, I, yeah, from, uh, I mean, I, I, you know, I've, and I've seen some where it's been, where it's been smaller banks, but a lot of them that come my way are usually the, the more national chain of, of banks and, and financial institutions. And to your point, yeah, it's just, you know, what, what bank we use, what as collateral. And, and for the, for the most part, yeah, a lot of them do like life insurance because you have, especially if it's, you know, ULI, you will whole life where there's more consistent, you know, they, they, you know, the death benefit and more consistent growth from a cash value standpoint as well, too. And, you know, the permanent coverage or even even if it's just the term policy for the, for the collateral assignment need for the for the for it. So, yeah, maybe with that, I mean, we, you know, we don't have any that we recommend or, or promote or have on a platform like we do with premium finance. Okay. So the reason I'm asking, because also like, so the mortgage guy was like, well, why would the, why would the bank accept life insurance as collateral over the, the physical property as an asset? And my understanding is the physical property is more of a uh, depreciating asset because the financial institution cannot own property. So seeing as they can't own property, you know, the life insurance, you're guaranteed to get your cash. Well, as if, if you foreclose on the property, you have the four walls, but there's no guarantee that the person who's delinquent will pay a dime. Exactly. It's, it's that. Yeah. It's, it's your point is, and that's why, from a premium finance standpoint, you don't see a whole you don't see a whole lot of lenders utilize real estate and property. They may require a letter of credit made from a lender from a bank based on that property, but they prefer a more hard asset. Something to your point. Yeah, the life insurance is right. It's, it's the, the cash value component in the event there's the default or, or if he the client ends up asking well hey we we have the death benefit as liquid we don't have to go and do something with this physical property so to your point it could it could just be a, a lender that's not that that's a more local smaller and I, i'm kind of surprised they don't use that that particular bank and person he was talking with don't use life insurance for for a collateral standpoint well, I assume the, 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 because what he, the, the mortgage guy was speaking to basically was saying, he asked me if I was working with a client or had ever done one, um, which let me know likely he hadn't. So I'm assuming he's just not, because he was like, well, mortgages are sold and we do thousands of mortgages a day. People aren't doing these. Like, and I was like, okay, he's got to be a smaller lender. And from what you're saying, again, the bigger banks are more apt to do this. Whereas, you know, he, he might be, you know, with like, I don't know, Home Depot mortgage, obviously, I don't think that's a, a mortgage company, but, you know, you get my drift, so I'm assuming probably he just wasn't familiar with it, um, and I'm assuming a lot of a lot of people aren't familiar with it, hence why I'm calling you guys the advanced markets, right? Yeah, and, that, and that's where, and it could just be the department, the, 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 you know, the area of lending that he's at with the bank, if he's... You know, if he's more on the mortgage lending side and they're not usually dealing with collateral as much as, say, whether it's, you know, a, a premium finance department or, you know, they're, they're getting a, 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 you know, a different type of loan that does require some type of recourse and, and collateral to be posted. So it, it could just be, you know, hey, he's from the, the mortgage lending side and because they don't typically – require collateral if it's, if it's if it's say for a primary residence you know then you know that then it just may be just not un, more unfamiliar for him because it's not a normal part of their normal process right that's what he was saying he was like i've never seen this i don't think it's normal this is not familiar this isn't something the average person would do 
And I was, I'm, admittedly so, it's not something the average person does because the average person isn't aware of it. Um, but my clients are aware of it uh, and I'm aware of it. So, you know, I want to make that something because, you know, I had one client who was like, yeah, if you can make this happen, then all I'm going to do is turn around and buy more insurance from you because I'm going to want to use it again. So, you know, uh, there's, there's yeah, that. So it, I mean, it could just be the, the loan department he's at at that particular bank. Yeah, if, it's, if he's part of the mortgage lending and they don't, Requir they don't, he, he, re requiring collateral is not part of the the, reg the type of loans that he usually underwrites or process. Then you know maybe it's not as as familiar. But no, I mean if you go and that's where I mean you know going to a lender, uh, you know a lender like Wintrust or or Global. And I, I'm you know I'm just pulling up Wintrust here real quick. Just you know. To see if they do non-premium finance. I mean, normally, when I'm talking with wind trust, it's on premium finance loans. Okay. And then, because but, I was on our website, and I do see that it looks like we have the commercial realty arm as well. So that that kind of led me to further investigate. Yeah, and, I'm, I don't, and that's more on our. That's probably more on our. AIC or our, our broker dealer side of the house, so not part of the business that I'm usually, I, I work with too often on, okay. on what we provide there. Okay. But yeah, you know, I mean, that's where, I mean, I mean, yeah, I mean, just look, looking at like wind trust, I mean, looking at wind trust and media, I mean, they have, you look, you look on their website and it's, you know, you look for wind, on wind trust website and from lending solutions, they have a lot of different lending solutions, options that are available from real estate to commercial to even just, uh, you know, general lending. So, you know, utilizing, you know, maybe reaching out to, uh, maybe reaching out to, uh, you know, to a, 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 a bank like Wintrust, you know, who, you know, we work with on a, on the premium finance side, maybe, maybe, uh, the institution to maybe see if they're a fit. Okay. So Wintrust is a, is a possibility. Okay. I was just wondering, lastly, is there any material on PDW that we could, uh, use for, that that or, or if you're familiar with, is there any material that we can use to kind of uh, talk about a collateral assignment in a client facing role? Um, let me take a look as we're talking here, because not a whole. I mean, outside of the, I mean, outside of the collateral assignment form, yeah, there's not even there's really not anything client facing that discusses the the use of life insurance from a from a collateral assignment standpoint. So no, nothing nothing client friendly, high client facing on on our website in regards to that matter. Okay, well, it, it's better than nothing. Um, so at least I have an idea here now. When I have my client go for the collateral assignment, so I just have him obviously fill out the paperwork. Uh, ahead of time, and then we submit that to both you and the financial institution that he's looking to borrow from? So it, I, it's going to have to go to that financial institution first because they're going to have to sign the assignment form, both him and uh, the policy and then the assignee signs it as well. And then, and then whether they want to send it in direct to us or if he's sending it at that point, it gets sent to our client service department to get attached to the policy. So he's going to have to give it to them first for, for, for them to assign it. Okay. Um, I think that does it for me for today, Kyle. Um, if I have any other questions, I can definitely call you guys back. Yeah. Yep. You guys, you know, I, and it may be something even, you know, if Chase was a no, I mean, even maybe it's something even like a, a, a Wells Fargo type bank, uh, who, you know, on that website, they have a, a lot of different uh, loan options outside of mortgage loans, you know, from, from personal to business, commercial, and, 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 you know, real estate. And so maybe it's a, maybe it's a different national bank like Wells Fargo, or maybe it's just a, a, lender, a lender like Wintrust who's comfortable, who uses, you know, life insurance for premium finance loans. Now, they may have higher loan requirements and limits, but 
know, maybe maybe something for him to check out there. But you know, I mean, you know, maybe starting with something like a Wells Fargo, and then, but also maybe you know, check check and see if Win if Win trust fits. Alrighty. Well, thank you then, Kyle. Yep, you're welcome. Have thank a good you. one. You too. Thank you. Bye bye. Well, there you have it, folks. Like I said, the collateral assignment definitely is something that's possible. Um, it's definitely something that gets done by, you know, according to my guy, the large financial institutions uh, are the ones who do it. So that's going to be it for today, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, make sure you hit that like, drop a comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you're made aware every time I release new content. And as always, share, share, share. Lastly, to contribute to channel growth or to schedule an appointment with a licensed financial professional, the links are in the description of this video. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, wipe ass, work in progress every day and see success. And remember, folks, when people challenge you, they don't challenge you to challenge you, but they challenge you to challenge you. Accept the challenge. Salute.